NBA baller Chris Paul mocks a referee behind James Harden's back. Plus, James Harden weighs in on the passing of his friend Nipsey Hussle during his first game back to his hometown of Los Angeles. I have all the details right after this. Hey guys, I'm Britt Johnson. Make sure you follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson and click subscribe to The Fumble if you haven't already. With just about a week left in the regular season, the Western Conference playoff teams have all been set. Although the seeding for the playoff bracket isn't confirmed due to the fact that the first through eighth seed are only separated by nine games, we know we will in some capacity see the Warriors, Nuggets, Rockets, Blazers, Jazz, Clippers, Thunder, and Spurs all in the Western Conference postseason. Because of the competition we have in the Western Conference right now for seeding, every game for the remainder of the season matters. Wednesday, the Los Angeles Clippers, who are currently in the sixth seed, took on the number three seeded Houston Rockets. Rockets in the past have had some bad blood with the Clippers that resulted in Chris Paul leading several of his teammates through a secret tunnel in Staples Center that he knew from when he was a Clippers player, all the way to the Clippers locker room to fight the Clippers players. Since then though, the Clippers roster no longer consists of any of the members that Chris Paul had beef with, so Chris Paul decided to take that energy elsewhere and well, put it on the refs. Ken Maurer was speaking with James Harden about a call when Chris Paul did this. First half of play, the Houston Rockets have been terrific. Uh so Paul mocked Maurer, but the funniest part of this is Maurer literally looked like he wanted all the smoke with Chris Paul. Is it just me, or has this season been either the NBA players versus the refs, or the NBA players versus the fans? We have seen very few incidences where it's the players versus the players. The mocking wasn't the highlight of the night for Chris Paul though. The NBA baller scored 29 points including this three pointer from behind the arcs at the other side of the court. A rare highlight for the Clippers. And the horse. Oh, oh it's bent in. They say the basket counts by Paul. This shot made the score 102 to 73 Rockets, and you know what they say, first to 100 wins. The Rockets went on to win the matchup 135 to 103. Both Chris Paul and James Harden were already playing like it was the playoff season, which is good practice for the first round because if the season were to end today, the Rockets and the Clippers would be playing each other in the first round. Chris Paul said this after about the possible matchup between the two teams. It'd be a tough series. They're very disciplined. Chris Paul and James Harden dominated the third quarter. Paul had six straight points and Harden added eight straight shortly after, with Paul finishing out the quarter with two three-pointers one being the one at the buzzer that you just saw. Harden added 31 points with a matching pair of rebounds and assists at the lucky number seven during Wednesday night's matchup, but according to a commentator for the Los Angeles Clippers, Don McLean, Harden ain't nothing but a big old cheater. McLean saying this during the game. I just feel like, Ralph, this style, what Harden does is manipulating the game somehow, like almost like cheating it somehow, and I don't really have a thought beyond that other than I'm watching something that isn't basketball. He went on to say, to me basketball is player movement, ball movement designed plays. Not just the guy walking it up and isolating every time. He went on to say, And that's why I brought up that point earlier that who else could do this? It's not like he's, you know, it's not like within the system he's getting all these numbers. The system is built for him. The Rockets are on a four game win streak, but Wednesday night's game in LA was a special one for James Harden. This was the first time back in his hometown around family and friends since the passing of his friend, rapper Nipsey Hussle. Harden had this to say after the game about Nipsey. He was powerful, not just to a certain dynamic or a certain city, but just to the world. He was a leader. He was so many things. His life got taken away off nonsense, off BS. It's just been sad. Not only myself, but a lot of people around this world is affected by it. It just doesn't seem real. In honor of Nipsey, we are going to switch it up here at the Fumble and in the comment section, I want you guys to tell me one thing that you would like to do or you are currently doing to make a difference in your community. Let me know in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Britt Johnson for the Fumble, and I'll see you soon.